Hi everybody, I'm Dave Grohl and I'm here to talk about how wonderful it is to discover things at independent record stores, bring them home and have them change your lives. This record, Blockbuster, KTEL's Blockbuster, 20 original hits, original stars. Uh, this is the first record I ever bought. This is the actual record. When I was young, um, my mother was a public school teacher, and we didn't have a record player in the house, but she would bring home the record players that they had uh, in the public school classrooms, the kind that um, you open up the top and the speaker was built into it, and they smelled like school. Um, she would bring those home and we would go out and buy albums to listen to on the weekend. This is the first record I ever bought. Here we have, um, we have That's the Way I, uh -huh, uh -huh, I Like It by Casey and the Sunshine Band. Why Can't We Be Friends by War. Pick Up the Pieces by Average White Band. That's a big one. Um, Only Women by Alice Cooper. Um, but the song that really changed my life on this album was a song called Frankenstein by the Edgar Winter Group. Now, this is the first time I ever came home with something that was mine, all mine, and because I picked it out and I discovered it, this became the most important thing in my entire life. And this song, Frankenstein, by Edgar Winter Group made me want to become a musician. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard the song before, but uh, it's an instrumental. There's no vocal on it. Um, Edgar Winter uh, is a musical genius and um, solos on multiple instruments throughout the song. But this is what uh, made me want to join a band and jump on stage and play music. So. If it weren't for that record store, um, I don't think I'd be here today. And I think it's important for everyone, kids and adults, to celebrate that kind of discovery by going into a little record store in your town that you've never been to before um, and spend some time there discovering things that you never knew existed. Um, because those little discoveries can wind up changing your life and it's important that um, that these places survive and that they're there for the next generation um, to go in and hopefully do the same thing. I have kids and they're starting to listen to records too and there's nothing makes me prouder than walking into my kids room and looking down at the turntable to see what they were listening to last night and you see that your daughter's listening to the 13th floor elevators or you turn and you look and and that kiss record that you bought your kid is actually being played you know because those become moments in their lives that they'll never forget so here's to Edgar Winter here's to listening to vinyl Here's to all of the record stores that, uh, that remain active and alive uh, to inspire the next generation to go out and make music so that there'll always be something to fill those shelves. So, there you go.